a Senate investigation to bring that out. So these wartime no-bid contracts, Charles Tiefer, have tripled. What are your recommendations right now? Well, the commission recommended that uh, the Pentagon and also uh, the problem even goes further, State Department, Agency for International Development, but the Pentagon is the, the, the big one, um, should s set goals to make real percentage increases in competition and meet them. Uh, and uh, this would—it would take legislation to do—to to make sure that this is done. Uh, but uh, we also stated the specific methods that the Pentagon could use to do this. Um, a lot of these no-bid um, uh, arrangements have been done by a thing called task orders. Uh, what, uh, what Sharon was talking about with uh, KBR's $36, $37 billion uh, were task orders. To, make, to provide uh, uh, e increments, annual increments for KBR, uh, of, of their services. And what we explain is that there should be requirements that task orders not be given out in an effectively non-competitive way, but that if there's a situation where you w you're not seeing competition uh, on some billion-dollar or two billion-dollar task order, that you require that competition occur, that you that instead of just having it in a closed set of companies that uh, one company or uh, one or two that can, can make bids, that you open it up uh, and you get full and open competition on Very those. Very quickly, is there anything you wish were included in the report uh, that did not get included uh, from the Wartime Contracting Commission? Well, uh, this was a bipartisan commission, and with all the trouble you sometimes see between the two parties, the four Republicans and the four Democrats work together. Uh, I am quite satisfied with what's in there. Uh, in a perfect world, changes continue to occur in Afghanistan, including problems, and I, I wish we could stay with it, but our time was up, and, and uh, our report speaks for itself. Charles Tiefer, thanks for being with us on the Wartime Contracting Commission. Sharon Weinberger, author of the investigative series for the Center for Public Integrity. A no-bid contract's called Windfalls.